far as our testing for the 62 grain brass hog, I have some subsonic bullets that I've loaded up. So this should give us a representation of what this bullet can do at many hundreds of yards. So we have the 62 grain brass hog first, then an M855A1, then a IMI Mark 262 Mod 1. We tried the M855A1 and 5.7 a long time ago and it didn't stabilize. And we know it works in this barrel. So the brass hog first. Velocity 11.12. Subsonic still. Now the M855A1. 9.21. And now the MK262. Eight seventy eight. interesting results that wound track in the middle is our m855a1 we have penetration right around the ten and a half inch mark with it diving down base forward this penetration right here you see that's a pretty good size wound track is the 62 grain brass hog and it leaves the block it's approximately 13 inches never to be seen from again that's really good penetration. I figured as much because it is a solid. The MK262 Mod 1 is this unimpressive wound track over here that exceeds about to the 15 inch mark and completely disappears. Now, it looks like it hit the metal here, so I'll have to see if I can find it. But that wound track it's probably the least impressive. It's that one right there. So it looks like at some point it was tumbling. But the Brass Hog and M855 definitely have the larger of the two wound cavities. Again, at subsonic speeds. Interesting. Just for giggles, I'm going to fire one round of M855A1 out of the 22 inch barrel to see what kind of penetration depth we get out of this. Try to go right in the middle of this block. Velocity 31.59. This is the sick part of M855A1, especially out of a 22 inch barrel. That is almost an instantaneous neck with a fair bit of fragmentation going on there. We penetrate the entire 16 inches of this block. The bullet, you can see that little path right there. That's the core still penetrating. And it ends up all the way back here. Tons and tons of penetration. Now. Here's a side shot. There is the steel tip penetrating down to right around the 14 and a half inch mark base forward. That's unreal. I'm not sure if William or Andrew or anyone's ever done a 22 inch barrel with the M855A1 and clear ballistics gel. Hopefully it looks pretty cool on the high speed.